when life hurts, let it. Let's let life hurt. And tell the truth about that sometimes. And here's how you do that. You bow your head and you say yes. My friend Jennifer was dying of AIDS at the age of 27. A nice Jewish girl from Westchester, New York, dying of AIDS, that she, a virus she got from her boyfriend at a school in upstate New York when she was in college. And she was dying alone. I went to say goodnight to her way past visiting hours. The nurses knew me, so they let me in at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I didn't know this would be the night she would die. I only knew that I was saying goodnight to her. And I went to her side of the bed where her face was turned. And she looked at me, and I looked at her, and she caught my gaze, and she realized she was no longer alone in the room. And she said to me this sentence. Shit, it hurts. Over and over and over. Shit, it hurts. Because life hurts, AIDS hurts. Sometimes we hurt. I wanted to say, no it doesn't. I wanted to say, let me get the nurses to raise the level of the painkiller so you don't feel it. I wanted to say, think of nice thoughts, it'll pass. But I knew that wouldn't work. So instead, I looked into her eyes and I said, the one thing I know does work. The one thing that any one of us in this room wants to hear but can only hear in real time, not on social media, with true intimacy, and it's one word. So I said it to her over and over again. I looked into her eyes and I said, yes, it hurts. Yes, it hurts. I see that it hurts, Jen. Yeah, it hurts. She locked her gaze into my eyes. I wanted to look away, but I refused to. We were silent for a while. She stared deep inside me, and then she spoke, and she said, it stopped hurting. It stopped hurting. I didn't take the pain away. I didn't heal her. She died a few hours later, alone. What I did was give her permission to have her pain. And I did it by saying yes. And I did it by giving her my eyes. And I did it by being in her presence. True intimacy is learning about yourself in the presence of another person. Staying up all night and telling your secrets is simply staying up all night and telling your secrets. Talking to somebody on social media is connection and communication, and it's awesome. But true intimacy, as I understand it, is being in the presence of another person and learning about yourself as you say to them things like, shit, this hurts. And the other, the loving other, looks back at you and says, yeah, but I'm with you, but I'm here. And it's why I started tonight's talk with the request, the final request, which was this, be with me. Not just because I want your undivided attention, but because I want to know how it feels, to feel the sense that there's only one of us here. It's me and it's you and it's one of us. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Just you. There's only one of us here. So be with me. That's what heals. That's what's true. And you know what? It's awkward. It's standing in an elevator with a stranger. It's waiting in a bus stop with a stranger. It's looking into the eyes of a friend who's dying of AIDS and not knowing what to say. Awkwardness. It only happens in real time. It's true intimacy. It leads to intimacy. And intimacy leads to truth. And truth leads to healing. And healing is what we seek. <laughs>